Well, I do have to say I was shocked this morning to wake up and see eight at 35 cents. I'm sure many people can absolutely agree with this. It looked like we were actually more likely to consolidate, go through some sort of retracement. It actually, in fact, ADA looked toppy around this 33 cent range, but instead it decided, no, we're going to keep the rally alive. We're going to keep pushing up. Now, this is exciting, guys. I'm still thinking we're going to get a retracement at some point. Okay, I'm, I'm not cheering for one. I'd love for us to continue to move up into the right, but we know that these things typically happen. Now, I'm not su really surprised that we're going on this parabolic run because we have been launched, guys. This is this is the absolute launch pad for ADA, and we could still even continue to hit higher levels. Now, the reason I say that is look at what has happened historically, even during this bear market cycle throughout 2023. We got this bullish cross, the 20 and the 50 day moving averages crossing to the bullish side, and we're going on this parabolic run, right? <clears throat> we back up, we look uh, at what's happened this year. It happened in March. We went on this parabolic run. It happened in January. We went on this parabolic run. This is what is possible and happening right now for ADA. Now, the question is, is, is it sustainable? I will say that the market conditions are very different than what we experienced at that time. Okay, At that time, we had still mostly bearishness in the market. We were still, you know, right in the middle of a bear market cycle. We, we weren't even close to the halving. There was still a lot of negativity that was coming from other entities. We knew people were liquidating assets. I mean, there was the, the conditions weren't right. Okay. We're now at this period where the conditions are in fact right to have sustained rallies. We can see it beginning. Okay. $1.33 trillion in market cap for the global crypto market. All right. This is again, the highest it's been during this bear market cycle since we hit the low. So we are seeing that influx of outside capital now, which is a great sign. It's not a huge amount yet, but it's beginning. Okay. We're kind of getting those early hints. BTC showing strength at 35 K. All right. This is very important. The last few times that we've created new highs for BTC, you can see it throughout the year. We, we hit these levels, we consolidated, we dropped, right? We, we continue to move down and to the right while creating higher lows, which is a great sign. Right now, BTC at these levels, it's actually showing a bullish trend. We're actually still ascending in terms of price. This is overall strength in the market. And keep in mind, we still haven't seen a capital influx from spot Bitcoin ETFs yet. We still have people sitting on the sidelines waiting for some sort of clarity in terms of regulation. There's a lot of capital, guys, that is is ready to flow into the market. It just hasn't yet. It, it this is kind of like that early little, early little, taste, right? This is the appetizer before we get this, this big, beautiful five-star dinner. All right. So right now I like what Ada's is doing up 17% on the week. Okay. It's, it's one of the, one of the best gainers in terms of the top 20 coins over the last seven days. So we'll obviously see if this is sustainable, but we have launched. Okay. And just imagine what it's going to look like when the Cardano ecosystem is complete, begins to get adoption, demand for Ada rises. Price points for ADA can can reach some, I believe, absolutely insane levels. I think a lot of people are going to be surprised about what is, in fact, possible here. But I appreciate you guys, as always. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this is not financial advice. Let's, let's hope that we continue to have a very strong week in terms of ADA price. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.